Here we are again. Lots of teddies. A rabbit. A teddy. A teddy. Oh, a book. Fergus's Scary Night. There's Fergus the dog. And some more teddies. Shall we read this book? Fergus's Scary Night. Oh, I keep saying that. Anyway, this is the start of the book. And there is Fergus. Let's see what happens inside. Oh, nothing on that page. There's a bit of a ghost on that page. Some poor prints. And there's Fergus. And there's a ghost and Fergus. Hmm, he looks a little bit scared. There he is again. Aha! Now the story starts. There's Fergus. It was evening and the farmyard was quiet. Almost time for bed, thought Fergus. Suddenly the pigs hurried by. <coughs> Can't stop, they oinked. <coughs> hmm, where are they rushing off to? Fergus watched them go into the barn. They were followed by the hens, then the ducks. I wonder what they're up to, he muttered. I'd better take a look. Inside the barn, the animals were huddled together in front of the cow. She was telling them a story. As they spoke, as she spoke, their eyes grew bigger and bigger. <gasps> It was a ghost story. Humph, <laughs> growled Fergus. Silly ghost stories. They don't scare me. And off he went to his kennel. He was almost asleep when he heard on tap, tap, tap on the kennel roof. The fur stood up on the back of his neck. Who's there? he called out nervously. Just us big scary monsters, came the reply. Slowly Fergus peered outside and he saw... The pigs laughing and dancing around. Were you scared, Fergus? They oinked as they ran off. Fergus shouted, that wasn't very funny. Just then, the ducks rushed over. Help us, quack! Fergus, they quacked. There are skeletons back in the vegetable patch. Quack, quack, quack. We've heard their bones rattling. Quack, quack, quack. Oh, Fergus groaned. When he went to look, he found... It was only a few plant pots rattling and banging together in the wind. On his way back to tell the ducks, Fergus met the hens. Shivering with fright. Look over there, they whispered. It's a monster. Fergus turned and saw... What is it? Just the shadow of some potato sacks on the back of Farmer Bob's truck. Woof, woof, said Fergus wearily. Everyone back to bed. Woof. Then they heard... The most horrible sound. It was coming from the old shed. In the field behind the barn, the animals crept closer. They could see a light shining under the doors. There's someone inside, whispered the hens. Bark, 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 bark. Suddenly the door flew open. There in the lighted doorway stood a dark and frightening shape. <gasps> went the creature. <laughs> went the animals and they turned and ran 
They rushed back into the farmyard and then to one of the sheds. They crouched in the darkest corner, not daring to breathe. The shadow of the creature came nearer and nearer and nearer. <gasps> oh, hello, said a familiar voice. What are you doing all here, out here? It was Farmer Bob. I hope my old bagpipes haven't kept you awake. I'm a bit out of practice. Humph, <clears throat> muttered Fergus. I knew there weren't any ghosts or monsters on this farm. Or were there? <whistles> He's asleep. Well, the mice are looking a little bit nervous because... Ooh, maybe there are ghosts. And Fergus hasn't seen them. And there's those paw prints again. And there's Fergus. And some more paw prints. And they lead to a friendly ghost. Hooray! And that is the end of the story. Come here, Teddy. Where are you? Oh. What are you doing? Right, off to sleep.